Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Silver 1999. In the last episode we met Chiaro, our new party member, and we got to know of his master's death, Ruben, who was a painter that David saw uh, or used to watch painting while when he was young. Um, also, we got the fourth orb, the Orb of Lightning, so we shall make use of it eventually, when and if needed. But for now, we need to find what to do about that key that we have. Now, we've been to Spires, we've been to Rain, we've been to the Observatory, and etc. But this here, Winter, there's a big, big castle over here, so there might be something for us to do over to this side. So today... Uh, I think the turret will be a good place to um, to go. We will start working on our next dungeon. And if I'm not mistaken, the next dungeon is quite big. So I'm hoping I can find uh, some place to stop that is actually a nice place to stop in this episode. Because I'm a bit weary. I'm going to take less than 15 minutes to get to the beginning of the dungeon. But then again, the dungeon might take more than just 15 minutes to complete so we'll see we'll see when we get there i maybe should have planned this a little bit better <laughs> now uh i think the enemies going up there are a bit under leveled because they sort of expect you to uh, explore this area while you're trying to find the second dungeon so yeah basically the enemies until we get to where we need to be will probably be a bit under leveled Oh, I meant to just choose Cajun and let everyone else be on their own. Uh, that is, if they want to be on their own. You know what? I'm going to give Charo the fire magic here. And just let him, let him do whatever he wants. Let him be happy. Even if he doesn't want to do anything. Charo? No? Okay, fair enough. Uh, any more enemies there? Oh, apparently there are. Oh, wait, what? Ah, there we go. Apparently there are more enemies I didn't know of. Oh, here we have another um, food we haven't had. And I don't think I mentioned the, the chicken leg. The chicken leg actually heals you for 200 health. And the pie that I just got heals you for 150, I think. I want to say 150. But we'll see whenever we need to heal. Uh, Charo, do you wanna... Why are you punching him? There you go. You have fire magic. Sometimes the AI is a bit... woozy. Don't expect them to be amazing. Yeah, as you can see, we have a little bit to explore while we try to get to that big castle here in the region of Winter. A well-named region of Winter. Now, the thing that I don't really understand is, why would they expect you to explore this when you're very under-leveled, but then give you um, recovery items for when you're quite over-leveled? And what is this elusive food item that we haven't gotten yet? We've got everything else but this. And off the top of my head, I can't, re I can't even remember what it is. Uh, Charo, do me a favor. Do me a biggie. There we go. Uh, might not be a bad idea for me to actually control Charo and let the other two lose. Now that I think of it. Ah, uh, one thing I haven't mentioned yet. The orbs that we have will level up. Uh, and I think it has to do with the amount of time you've played and not really anything else. I'm not sure it is about progress because I remember having times where... Oh, there we go. It's a bit of a rough fight. I remember having times where the game was m much, much less advanced as, uh, than it is now, and I had the fire magic already at level three, which is its um, like its highest point it could be, highest level it could be. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. The only difference between the other path and this one is that on this one I can just get here a bit uh, quicker, maybe. I don't remember. I hope this makes sense, but basically I'm not going back to show you the other path because it's basically the same thing. Um, someone else might need an apple and someone else might need a cheese. 
Once again, I don't particularly like to leave food on the floor, it's just one of my pet peeves. I'm just a bit used to <laughs> playing this game very methodically, if it makes any sense. Oh, apologies if you heard that, that's my phone vibrating and getting... At least I put it on silent this time. Getting messages. Oh, here we see people with hammers. So maybe you're not supposed to uh, explore this when you're uh, underleveled. But still, the um, the enemies are quite underleveled compared to you. Because you can kill them in one hit. True that I'm using Charo for everything, but still, quite a lot. Uh, there's a cheese and a bread. There we go. That's lovely. I like that. We still have a bit to go uh, when it comes to this game. We're n not even close to having it completed. But here we are. This is the big castle. This is the big one. And we still have time to actually start the dungeon. Now that I think of it, might be a good idea. Oh, Jesus. Charo, can you please? Okay. Uh, yeah, I thought that wasn't going to work. Boom, but there you go. Well done. Anything else I can do? Yes, I can kill this guy that was on the other side. It's a massive, massive map. I think it's no the biggest map we've had. Don't you? Glasses Palace. Surely you are not considering going in. That's exactly what I'm considering. But are we ready? After all, Glass is Silver's daughter. And she's a very powerful sorceress who's probably using one or more of the orbs to enhance her power. If I have to. I'll go in alone. No, if we go in, we go in together. So you've heard that. We are now on Glasses Palace, which is um, the palace belonging to Silver's daughter, Glass. She is a very powerful sorceress, so for the first time we actually have a warning of where we're getting ourselves into. So you can imagine this is not really a particularly pushover dungeon. This is an interesting dungeon. I really like it. It's big, it has an amazing setting, it's just an ice castle uh, with some powerful enemies and, you know, a, a very powerful boss. You're gonna like it, I hope you're gonna like it. Let's see, let's see here. First things first, boom. Even though these enemies are powerful, they are weak to, uh, um, to fire. So, it is a good idea for us to have Charo with the Fire Orb, for a little bit at least. Can I hit you from here? It's gonna hit the rail, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. This door is locked. We're going to need a blue key, which is probably an ice key. Not 100% sure, but it's probably an ice key. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, there we go. Uh, at least I haven't gotten any hits yet. As you can see, Chiaro has enough mana to pay the bills and he can live for a long time with the uh, with the magic orbs. Although, whenever they level up, they will take more MP away. More mana. Alright. Let's explore the dungeon a bit further. Boom. Boom. Boom! Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed! There we go. Oh, I absolutely love having these wild range attacks. Absolutely adore them. Charo, you might have been my best acquisition yet. Arguably. Oh, now we have a big one. We can see that they have a lot more health than the other ones. And they have their own special move. So, they will be difficult to deal with, but we got a new hammer and a new type of shield, the steel shield, and we are going to give these to David, because David, once again, is our main uh, force of uh, weaponized attack at the moment. Now they give us a lot of food items here because they are expecting us to have some trouble fighting the purple guys. But I have Charo on me, so... <laughs> on me, with me, that's what I meant to say. I have Charo on me! No, I have Charo with me. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to forcibly leave some food down, I'm afraid. These are two loaves of bread. Oh, interesting. Right, let's look to the left and see what we can find. Nope, let's not look to the left. 
What's up? Oh, we have more people to fight. That's good. It just means I can have more... Um, I can use the other loaf of bread, at least. Oh, there we go. Uh, not for me, for KJ. There we are. Sorry, this is probably really boring, seeing me deciding on which food I should give to which people. I don't know if I want to come this way first. Let me see what's on the right. Oh no, I might maybe should have gone to the left first now that I think of it. These guys have throwing axes, so let's try and kill them with um, a ranged attack. Uh, nope, didn't get there. Now we're being attacked by someone. No, I missed it. Oh, and that was a delayed uh, action there. More thrown weapons. Should we want to bring Sukune back? She'll at least have something to use. Now that we have the longbow and the the, the new thrown weapons like the uh, axes. That's not a bad idea, actually. I might eventually bring her back. I mean, I would like to give more characters a place in the sun. Because I need to show you where you can change your characters as well. Because you can change characters at any point in the game. You're not stuck with a specific character by uh, in any part of the game, I think. Right, let's uh, grab these items. And maybe I do want to go left and see what's on the left side. Like I said, I want to explore the dungeon thoroughly. Uh, another piece of bread, and let's carry on. There's only one cheese left. Thankfully, they don't disappear. But that might also contribute to my... Uh, to me, not liking to leave uh, pieces of food on the floor. There we go. Ooh, if I'm not mistaken, we are going to get a very interesting item here that's going to change the way we play the game a little bit. If it makes any sense. Oh, well, it won't probably make any sense right now. Oh, and our fire magic has just uh, gone up in level. So, Jaro just uh, got out of MP for the first time in a while, so... I'm going to use David for a little bit. As you can see, he doesn't deal that much damage, but at least he's trying. Well done, David. I believe in you. Uh, what do I want to... I just want to upgrade this shield and leave Chiaro for a little while, still with his uh, current setup. Ah, okay. I think we were going to reach this point anyways. So now we are in a bit of a predicament. He doesn't have mana. Oh, now he has mana and he missed it. Well done. Well done, Charo. This might be difficult. This might be a difficult fight. Ah, crap. Baskets. I could potentially use a magic potion to heal, but I don't think I'm going to need to because there's a load of food. I have a surplus of food at the moment and I can heal people. Plus I have the healing orb, so what am I talking about? I don't even need to use the food. I'm gonna use the food just because I want to get rid of like, you know, I don't want to be full of food completely. But then I'm gonna use the healing orb on myself. Boom, boom, and boom. As you can see, healing orb is quite strong. It also takes a lot of mana. I think it's the one that drains the most mana in comparison to the other ones. Now I would like to make sure Kijin just... Uh, oh, that's not what I meant. Yeah, just go back to being uh, barehanded, basically. And let's see what we can get from here. I think this will just take us to... Oh no, it doesn't. It, take us to, it takes us to a different room. Alright, let's see how much damage we deal. No, we don't, because I missed the thing again. Can I stop missing things? I'm missing a lot of attacks for some reason. Oh god, this is just going great. As soon as Charo goes out of uh, MP, I'm screwed. Because I can't really control him that well. There we go. Alright, let's get more bread. And more axes. And there's no more place for that bread, is there? Oh, well done. That was a lot of damage, actually. Alright, it might not be a good idea to have Charo with the uh, orb for now. Let's just change this for a little bit. 
and give everyone a little piece of food. And where does this entrance take us? I think it might take us to where we were. I've been saying that. Yeah, there we go. So both sides are linked, which is a good thing. There we go. Now grab those things. Brilliant. Right. So, this is the last room we've seen. Now, unfortunately, we've reached the 15-minute mark, and I hate to stop in the middle of the dungeon, but we are going to need some time to finish this dungeon. Not a lot, but still, there's a, there's a bit to explore. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Silver 1999, where we are hoping to finish the Ice Dungeon, the uh, Palace of Glass, Silver's Daughter. So, once again, thank you very much for watching. See you then.